and studied the way the world viewed him as an Asian American. At a young age, I quickly grew a love for martial arts, and little did I know this childhood passion would manifest into a career where I became the first Filipino world boxing champion and brought honor and pride to my parents' home country. Became the first American woman to win a world boxing title under an organization that denied women for over 20 years. And became the first athlete to compete in both boxing and MMA at the highest level simultaneously changing the landscape of combat sports altogether. And I'm here tonight because of so many people. I want to thank Yusuf Khan and the Shadow League for thinking of me right. and for gathering us here on this special night. My boxing promoter, Alan Tremblay of Orion Sports Management, a two-time cancer survivor, Hall of Famer, and is like a second father to me. Angelo Reyes, my coach, mentor, and Kuya which means older brother in my family's native language. He is my rock on the hardest of days and roots me to the ground during the highest moments of my life. To coach Freddie Roach who battled through Parkinson's daily and has been an inspiration for us all. As your 28th world champion, I thank you for giving me a chance and for opening the doors. As a woman in the male-dominated industry, you would always tell me, if you choose it, you deal with it. To Joseph Francia and the GMA Network and GMA Pudnoi TV, to ABS and CBN, especially Henny Espinosa and Jill Santos, who has covered my story since I was an amateur, and all the Filipino media here, and the entire global Filipino media. And to Rhett Butler of Shadow League yeah. for all the years for supporting me and for traveling overseas to cover me to Bellator MMA and one championship for the golden opportunity to, to compete between boxing and MMA. I thank you all for believing in me and for thinking outside of the box. This was an incredible journey. To my dear friends who are like family to me and has guided me through the years, I want to say thank you to Adonal Foyle, Ronald Churioff, Dr. Phil Reyes, Gary Kagaanen, Vern Glenn, Lee Maglum, and Larry Beal, to Tita Nora for her unconditional support, my loving mother, and the rest of my family for being a constant source of inspiration, and to all the people who have supported me over the years. I dedicate this award, award to my grandparents, my late grandfather, Cesario Wilson Sr., and my beautiful grandmothers, Lushana Hulsen and Estralita Bonibasha. Also, I dedicate this award to a real champion that I have had the honor to know, Joseph Reyes. Joseph was born with CHD, which stands for congenital heart defect. At first glance, he looks like a normal, healthy young man, but thanks to the doctors at Children's Hospital in Oakland, this young warrior has championed and survived nine open heart surgeries by the time he turned four years old. We are blessed to have him today. is a freshman and he enjoys music, writes lyrics, is a member of his school's radio show, and loves basketball. You may have heard of CHD in recent news with Jimmy Kimmel's and Shaquille O'Neal's sons being born with it. My friend Ronnie Turioff is also a survivor and has fought and defeated the odds despite what current research has, suggest, has suggested. Today, one out of 100 newborns will be affected by this and there is no cure. As we think of others, we must remind ourselves that tomorrow is never guaranteed. Life is all about experiences and memories. Be mindful, be thankful, have passion, and never give up. May every moment count. And in honor of Filipino American History Month, I want to thank all of you in Tagalog. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you.